right, everybody, we're here for another round two game in the Archon Corner Sweet Amber Rush 16. Uh, this game, we're going to have uh, Pink Fraud, piloted by Duncaro, going up against the captain of Barracks Launch. And it's exciting. We actually have Rachel coming back to pilot the deck for this round. Uh, recording with me today, we have a full house. I'm Dr. Sheep. We got Ewok Jr. Hello. We got the Wookiee. I'm here. And we got special guest, George, two-time Vault Tour winner. Hello, everybody. So this is exciting. We got a two-time Vault Tour winner playing and a two-time Vault Tour winner commenting. So lots of lots of Vault experience here. And a multiple-time Vault losers. Oh, yes. That's, that's, the rest, <laughs> that's the rest of us. <laughs> hey, right. everyone I did and when I lost, so yeah, I'm in that bracket, too. Yeah. Yeah, some of us have just done a lot more losing. Yeah, I mean, that happens. I am I am top ten by attrition, right? You just show up to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to <laughs> enough, eventually you just become top ten. <laughs> That's right. FFG feels bad for you, so just like, I just can't. Just all right, so yeah, we've uh, you guys can all listen to Big Z and I talk about all these decks um, on the podcast, so we're not going to go into super in-depth here, but we got two super fast decks playing each other today, right? We got the double time traveler craziness that is in Barracks Launch versus the library access and double um, battle, fleet before we get, battle fleet. Before we get too crazy, you're recording, right, Dan? Yes, I'm recording. Okay. I didn't hit my button, so it's on you. So, they're just both, I mean, they're both really fast decks. Um, I just, I don't know how this one's going to go, because it's just whoever goes off, right? Oh, man, yeah, this is a double battle fleet key abduction deck? Yeah, yep. crazy things that it does, I though, is that different. Mars makes bad allies, lets them purge out the rest of his houses of creatures, because he doesn't care about the rest of those creatures. No. Oh, that's clever. Well, you got Barris <laughs> Launch, too, which has uh, triple, and I'm going to forget, Bolter? Yeah. Which just yeah, the allows, triple allows her to start just purging things. Yeah, but I don't think Pink Fraud really cares. Like purge all of his creatures, he just battle fleets for more actions. I I don't know. I mean, the miasma is real huge. I think in in Pink Fraud. Yeah, I also think the interdimensional graph could be live to be able to help a little bit to keep uh, Barracks Launch in check. I think oh, where well, that yeah. time is. Yeah, I mean, I I have to lean a little bit towards Pink Fraud because he's got the big Amber Control cards. Where yeah. Barracks Launch, well, it also has, it has well, it, effervescent, effervescent principle, yeah. which yep. is a different kind of control. Like you'd much rather IG than effervescent, assuming it isn't third key. Um, so I know last time we saw Barracks Launch played, we had talked about the Sting as not being a card to play just because there's no way to get rid of it it's too slow i think we're in the same boat here and that it is a discard um but I'm trying to think of some other way where the captain of barracks launch can capitalize on the quick amber that's going to be gained from pink fraud oh man when i've when i've played rachel with this deck the sting was always a big a part of how she won um the, the sting is basically an interdimensional craft or that style of effect. Yeah, but yeah. you have to go back to to shadows to get rid of it, which is where sure. it's it kind of stinky. I, I mean, like if if Barracks Launch just goes off turn one, turn two, and he doesn't have interdimensional graft in hand, like that's that's that, right? But it's kind of the same thing. Like if Pink Frog draws a double battle fleet, big Mars start, it's just. I mean, these. I think there's just a fair chance these games end before they ever start. Right, because they're just both so potentially fast. And when we watched Z play this, we saw him do that. He played a Logos turn because incredible. with the double help from future selves, um, Captain's Barracks Launch can just sit there and reflip itself, making boatloads of amber and doing crazy things. You just really got to watch out for that IG. Once the IG's down, IG's down, and it's just not that big of a deal. Mm hmm. The other card that we had talked about with Captain Barracks launch was Key Abduction. And while it doesn't fire in its normal sense of drawing cards, you have actually the ability to steal a key there. 
And so that is uh, kind of that outlier piece that again could just well, that's, gain that's a key. that key cheat that yep. that the deck has for the sting. Sure. You get all the amber and you just slam that. And the amber, and then... yeah, you skip your you yep. skip your forge a key step, but yeah, I'll forge a plus nine while the sting's down off of your amber. Sounds good to me. It does have that minor ability to also bounce us to grabber jammers if they're meaningful. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see uh, this piloted by Rachel. Just because uh, <clears throat> Z, Z pilots a little bit differently. Again, when it's your deck, you know it a little bit more intimately. Right. So I'm curious to see. I think it's a great matchup, and I'm excited to see what we got. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, I'm just I'm also oh, looking at Pink Fraud. The only big swing he's got is the IG, right? That's, I'm not missing anything. Correct. Um okay, and yeah. then so he's got the EMP blast, which doesn't make a big deal. He doesn't have Shatterstorm. That could be devastating in a game like this, but that isn't there, so Yeah, so there's not. It's gonna be kind of uh this is gonna be interesting. I'm I'm actually really interested now, just kind of peering in because you, you do have things like the grabber jammer but those bolters i'm trying to see i mean you know it, there's a good chance I, I think those bolters gonna do some work gonna do a little bit of work i mean the grabber jammers i mean it's only got three critters so not a big deal but i mean three cards is actually kind of a big deal when it comes to battle fleet emp because if those yeah. get taken out sooner rather than later he can't reveal them to draw more with the battle fleet so I don't know. This is this is going to be interesting. I think the bolter might come into more, might come into more relevance than we think. And it, then again, I could be completely wrong, like I normally am, and it won't it won't have any relevance <laughs> at all. So you know, shall we let them start? Yeah, <clears throat> let them have at it. Yeah, I don't I don't think the bolters get to play into this too much because Pink Fraud doesn't care about board much. No, it doesn't care about board, but I mean, he's going to play those creatures, so when he does key abduct, they come back to hand. I'm telling you, you're just as likely to see them all get, I mean, like, for what he cares, he's going to just, he's going to get rid of them himself with Martians make bad allies. That's fair. Like I said, they, they could either play a big role or do nothing at all. I mean, so. on the board, reaping is, is a thing, though. Yeah. I mean, two damage purge is is, is pretty... So it looks like Rachel's on. Oh, oh, no hands. No hands. Ooh, I'm going to leave. Yeah, so we're probably going to have to leave this game. We need to see the hand. Uh, man, if, if it only had some buttons in TCO to make it through <laughs> those things. If there are only buttons that you could press. To make it automatically happen. Need to ask for Kit back where uh, where they had like admin accounts that could just do that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm sure they have admin accounts on here, just we don't have them. Which makes sense. We're not cool enough. Well, I'm pretty cool. Ah, okay. <laughs> and they can fire whenever they're whenever they ready. Rachel's setting up her deck. Yep. Here we go. All right. Looks like we got the right decks. There we go. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Rachel gets to go first with some shenanigans. <laughs> wow. So uh, Rachel with this opening hand set up. Of, <laughs> I that's think right, we all had a six, collective. Ooh, ooh. Six logos that and isn't, one shadows. That isn't crazy because the help from future selves can't hit the time travelers. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So do you actually lab work one of them? I think you do. Yeah, yeah that's a good do. point. But I mean, 
still Rachel's though. Going first there, right? One, oh. two, three, four. I mean, but plain one puts yeah. you on check turn one plus whatever right. time travelers draw. Well, there you and go. Sure, That's a way actually, to do it. Yep, by playing it first turn. Oh, you can shuffle skilled. it back in. And intermental oh, and draft IG. is already out of the game. Oh wow! This could get interesting really fast because now you can fight the time traveler. Oh, that time travel is going right back in the deck. Why not fight? Give so you can damage. draw it and play it again. Yeah. Well, she's she's gonna get to draw it and play it regardless. Yeah, if you fight, then it's there for help from future self. But this way, you could just draw it too. I don't know. I guess. I figure put some damage on the board. He's going back in regardless. He Good does point. have. Yeah. He does have the archivist that ability to go ahead and archive that IG. So that is an interesting wild wormhole. This is just kind of gross here. I still that think handout. you archive a help from future self here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then you can just flip uh. and have a ridiculously giant logo stern. Bait and switch probably in the old days that really mattered, but now, you know, bait and switch isn't that powerful of a card. No. Oh, double that's just so gross. See what she puts down. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that is a hell of a second turn. Did she? Yeah, she played the lab work. Okay, what did yep. she? Is she making her decision? Man, I'm guessing if here? she could have yeah, hit one of her twin thing. bolts, oh balls! That would have been just <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. It's true. Is there, a, is there a library access in this deck? I forget. No, not in it's Rachel's. Not, right? No, yeah, not in Rachel's. Right? Okay. That's. I mean, like twin bolt would have just been the deck would have flipped over to almost pure logos. She holds did she hold it or archive uh, it? She just she played, played a it. Amber. Yeah, played, I think she she's just it. rushing. Yeah, I mean that does put you at eight. I mean that's a lot of pressure turn yeah. two. These two silver twos are likely gonna come down and reap next turn too. Yeah. Dunk trying to build Ooh. towards that big double battle fleet turn. But two. Yep. He he's got battle fleet and sample <clears throat> collection in the archives right now. <clears throat> got the... Now, no amber can God, already. that is a turn three key. Boom. Done. Key. I'm telling so you, with fast. the if she so hit fast. the twin bolt, I think she would have had two keys or three keys of amber. Yeah. But Dunk oh. is actually in a is actually pretty strong right now because he's got a really good shadow turn, followed by what he's building towards his double battle fleet silliness. You know, if he draws two or three Mars cards, one of them being battle fleet, it's it gets really silly on this side. wonder if she's thinking to reap or fight with them. Yeah, I don't know if the only you target that I'm... You can't into, fight the smoke out. No, but she could go into both into the archivist so that he's not going to be able to pull back the battle fleet. Or potentially the IG later. I think the battle fleet is a much higher target to be able to put back in the archives. I think, I think everyone is right, though, that she's well, <clears throat> I lean towards reaping in this case, in that it's just a straight amber push. But his That's what I think. Yeah. Uh Dunkero's Shadows is Does he go shadows nice or does he go with the one archive? No, it's shadows, yeah. Just turn it. You gotta go thing. shadows. You gotta turn. He's behind a key a key, a key no, and a half. Oh no, he's not behind he's a key. Not. I'm sorry. He just forged. That's he what was forged. big there. Yep. That's I missed that. So right now it is dead. Okay, dead and now he's got he's hand. six. Five, so what's five or six He's with two battle, battle fleets. Fleet. He's got two battle fleets, sample collection. Oh. <coughs> oh boy. And that sample collection. And really, Rachel doesn't have too much going on right now. Yeah. Yeah, we got a turn. What is that? Turn one. Just now it's kind of gone downhill. And it's very it's, exciting turn one, though. Or turn on, two, though. Yeah. Unknown to her, if she plays all that. 
Um, it's coming all right back into hand. Quite possibly. He doesn't actually well, have the key Well, I suppose he abduction. doesn't have the key abduction yet, but he's going to be drawing what? One, two, three, four, four off the first one, and then depending on what he draws. So possibly, you know, upwards of what? Eight to ten cards? Yeah, which I don't... you got to imagine he hits more. Sh- no, there is not a single Mars card in discard, so you got to imagine he's got most of that's Mars. Yeah, it's all Mars in his archive. I don't think no, he no, fires it off yet. His draw, his draw deck's got to have just <clears throat> got to be riddled with Mars. Well, we can actually see what's in his archives these days. Yep, you can see it. You just can't see what's in his deck. He's got Bates, Sample Collection, and yeah. the <laughs> Second Battle Fleet. And then you're going to get a decent orbital bombardment here, too. Yeah, that's it's one of those huge things that fraud can do. Uh, the dunk's going to go Logos, which I don't I think, think is very unfair. I think that's what I would be with, doing. Yeah, he's building bigger. But even with that yeah. EMP blast, to be able to go ahead and stun those Mars creatures, the three bolters, I mean, he's going to take care of it now. Look at that Mars hand building. Yeah. And knowing he's got another battle fleet in the cheese. Yep, you're going to see it next turn. Can he cycle back round to the second key? Of I don't know if it's going to matter here. He'll draw one, two, three, four, five, followed by more. Got so, two. yes, there's a chance he cycles. I think Rachel's getting some use out of Mars before. Oh, I've for sure. Just got a good use out of that disintegrator, though. Yes. Destroying oh, yeah. But, I mean, when he hits that key abduction and just kind of clogs her hand back up, that's yep. going to hurt. So if I was Rachel here, I think I would put the biometrics base back up on a time traveler and then bolt it. And then archive it instead of uh, purging it, which is what exactly what I think she's doing. Interesting. Oh, she's going to purge a quick so. Maybe. <clears throat> okay. She saw the first <clears throat> part, George, with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch Battle Fleet kind of go off. This is another place where playing on TCO is rough because uh, your hands are. You yeah, can't see your hands it's, well gonna, it's gonna be a little rough to see what's all in there. And but he the Martin, yeah. cleans the board. Oh, this is gonna be a really good Martians key abduction. Did he? He didn't key. Did he orbital a bard before he key abducted? Yeah, he has enough cards. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he's sitting with 20 right now in hand. 20. <laughs> it's just... That stops. So that doesn't stop I mean, when that goes, key. it's just kind of a press it, right? Plus, now he's got oh, double he's got squawker make a mouth. Yeah. And this is where, you know, if Rachel had an IG, maybe this would be a different game right now. Yeah. Because what is Dodger fight? Yep. Jeez Louise. No, I think that's need, it. Does he even need the second key abduction? He really doesn't, does he? No. I'm telling you, I, I watch this deck play sometimes, and I go, how has it ever lost a game? It just seems so Smooth. brutal sometimes. Well, it's, it's a combo deck, right? Like, combo yeah. decks either fire or they don't. Like there's no in between ground usually. I wonder. I wonder if Dunk doesn't uh, respect Restiguntus enough because if he's trying to build that big Mars turn and then you resty him out of it, really can't. Because um, even even if you respect it, then you're disrupting your own combo. So there's no good answer in that regard. And he's got answers in other houses. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. Shadows has a, a lot of the cards in there have answers. 
Yes, it's um, true. There's three of them. Logos. I don't think he's got any answers in logos off the top of my head. Uh, there's no damage in logos, but. But George, you were talking in the last game in our wrap up in regards to library access, and with Battlefleet again being able to draw answers, that's huge. That's true. Wild wormhole site network needed some creatures for that to fire. <laughs> I think it's just a hail mary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, is, right. this game is pretty much over. I don't, I don't see how. Yep. Well, that was quick, friends. Turn. Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, that's what we were talking about, right? All yes. right. By the way, it was going to be a race fast. It's a drag race. It, it really is, but it's, it's one of those things where <laughs> the deeper you can take fraud, the less likely he is to, you know, the less likely it is to win. But if he gets it like he gets it there, boom, it's all, it's, it's just done. There's no, and there's no, you just have to sit there and watch. Yeah. It's like playing against a library access loop thing. You just sit what? there and watch. Yeah. <laughs> I miss library access loop sometimes, even though Me I was too. the major. I was the major proponent of getting rid of it. I'm such a dick. I, I finally opened a good library access. You opened access a good LA deck. deck. <laughs> it was like library access, double face shift. All Check that out this stuff. sweet LA deck that I can't use. It's still great. Once, yeah. They good to go? Yeah. Once they have hands, just let them know they want to switch who's going first. They may have to reset. Bring my text circle them through. Oh, hmm. yeah. If they want to switch because Rachel went first last time. I suppose I need to put an extra A in Rachel. Well, I mean, winner gets to decide who goes first, or is it loser? Loser. Loser, loser decides who goes first in BO3. Rachel's cool with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that is a very steely starty hand too. What do yeah, you Yeah, I think I uh dumped that. Or do you just percent hundred percent dump it. Yeah, okay. There you go. <laughs> T one time <laughs> traveler. <clears throat> Man. I finally had to buy a time traveler deck because I couldn't open one. Ooh. Really? Yeah. I, I, could, I, could have, I could have given you plenty of crummy time traveler decks. <laughs> I'd, I'll still take them. I have so many time traveler decks and none of them are good. So I bet Rachel's going to go the sting. Yeah, I turn. think a turn two sting yep. is pretty good right now. And there's an Amber for but, Urchin. Oh, take. man, the sting against this deck just feels super bad because his main way of forging keys isn't actually forging keys. No, he, he usually only forges one or maybe... He forges at least one. <laughs> and actually, you're looking, his hand is bad right his now. His hand's not great, yeah. no. In which house to pitch, which... Uh, I would pitch shadows here. I would, I would just say, steal the one off the time shadows. traveler and yeah, well, steal first... the one, get the poison wave, get the yeah. poison wave uh, ember, and kind of move on. See, it's see always, if you can't. Take it's it always sad when you play your logos turn and then draw your library access the next turn. Uh -huh. it always makes you a little sad. Nope, She's just gonna power through. I'm still hoping for that library access library card deck. Fingers crossed. I'm going to open it today. Can't oh man, draw. I really want to win Shadows. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh, she, you know what? She probably smelled uh, the bad hand off of those last plays, so... Oh, and it Still wasn't like he was no on key, so the sting doesn't really do anything yeah. at this point. Well, wormhole into a blip Yeah, but blip doesn't that get you to... Let's see, you would have gotten one. 
I guess we've only gotten two. Oh, oh, and he draws into a two-two-two again. Yeah, and this is this it's is this point where this is why this deck sometimes. Oh yeah, it loses. I mean, it's only got ten losses. It's thirty-three and ten in competitive play. I mean, it's it. Let's not slight that. That's you know. That's what a sixty-six percent win rate or something like that. What is that, Jer? Say it again. What were the numbers? Uh, thirty-three, 33 and ten. Seventy-five. Seventy-five percent win rate. So I mean, that's that's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> does she sting or does she let it go? Oh, she just held it. It's interesting. Man, and she just gets that makes a lot of sense. Back, and right? now you slam it again. Man, has both battle fleets in hand and just can't use them. That's rough. Mm-hmm. Well, he's got he's got the library access turn. Hey, he's got the library access hand. turn, but that's not. I mean, it's not a great library access turn. It's an okay library access turn, but I mean, I guess you're hoping for more Mars to to swing those battle fleets next turn. How many that artifacts you, you know, does he actually have? Does she fight into Carlo. No, oh, just reaping. Yeah. He's still going to hold the sting. That's the question. Thank I think she's going to yeah. use it like in it. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, okay. She put it's it. It's coming down. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised it wasn't last turn, but hey, whatever. Expecting to go again. Oh, oh the Miasma's good. Mm-hmm. But he didn't. I mean, he's still not drawing Mars cards. Yeah. And she does have. And a- the Miasma is kind of useless at this point unless she pops a thing, which I'm assuming this turn yeah. she's going to. I mean, why would you not just reap out for that board? what two, four, six, and then pop this thing? You get. I think you wait a turn. Tunner. And you gotta respect orbital bombardment in that deck, though. And yeah. that board just gets destroyed. Then you have a dead sting turn to get rid of it. <laughs> More worries. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't even think you worry about it. You just reap, get the seven amber off it, and then reap and do it again. I don't between interdimensional graft and oral bombardment style cards. I don't think you can leave the sting in play. I think you, yeah, you leave it. You, uh, you un, you said do it next turn. Okay, that poison wave is gonna hurt. But now it's me, asthma. My bad. Yeah, you had a poison wave earlier. I yeah. think. I mean, like now you crack the sting and then you reap out and then if Dunk doesn't get the uh, I G. I mean, like I think yeah. I think that was a big risk. I couldn't have done it. It was a risk. I probably would have popped it too. I mean, you're you're. I mean, you are playing up against one card. You've seen a big logos turn. Did, you know. Did she have the EP in hand already, or did she just draw that? I guess if you have the EP, it's, it's not so scary. She had she had effervescent principle. In her yeah, hand. it's been in hand for a turn or two. Yeah, I guess it's not so scary. But still, I mean, if you reap out uh, eighteen here, even if you burn half a twelve, it's still a key. Yeah. And you're going to see Miasma routine job here. Uh-huh. Which, that's kind of a big scare. She can actually just play out this Mars hand and then use the Disintegrator to... Burn a few Amber. Disintegrator well, is... Yeah. And what's, what's interesting like is I have not seen her play um, her key abduction. Mm-hmm. So with all of that yeah. amber there, being able to play out some big Mars and then draw into it. Oh, yeah. That's not bad either. No. Here comes the Mars from Rachel. 
Yeah, yep. and uh, Felixie burn off the key. I still say she got real lucky that that IG didn't show up. Yeah, no, that that is. I mean, it is. You're still might. Cal- you're taking a calculated risk there. I mean, yeah. I, I suppose because he could battle fleet and almost almost guarantee to get it here. <laughs> that psychic network is going to be pretty nasty. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Didn't get EMP it. with all the star, the star. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this, like I said, the deeper you take this deck, we're in turn seven. So what turn? Isn't that where we ended last time? Yeah. So the deeper this deck goes, its chances of winning go lower and lower. I mean, it's it still does it. I still see it pull off, you know, late game victories. But nice, done that Mars board. You, yeah. But does it matter? <laughs> That's, no, I, I don't think it does. Still a good monster. I was going to say, you still got Psychic Network. Yeah. You're going to steal four. Well, I mean, sometimes, like, when you're on these kind of decks that make big amber, sometimes you just have to play and be like, if you've got it, you've got it. Yeah, there it and is. And you just got to play real, real big and real fast. Well, I mean, you are going up a deck that basically has one out against Big Amber, which is IG. So, I mean, take the calculate. I mean, it, sometimes you three. just got to play into it. You know, knowing my luck, he would have had it, but, you know, you, there. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to I'm going to play into it. I know you have 30 some odd cards, but I'm just going to keep going. And of course you have it. Why not? That's just a thing that exists. I mean, yeah, like, a lot of us didn't give Barracks Launch a ton of credit after it won, but we have seen it win against no, it's, it is super a super high deck. deck. And I really enjoyed being able to see the different play style from Rachel versus Z. Again, Z piloted uh, Barracks Launch very, very well. So all credit to Z. And he took it on an amazing Logos run. Um, but just seeing Rachel play it, play the sting, kind of, th- there's some really, really strong moves um, that are allow that allowed her to win and win pretty handily against Pink Broad. Okay, well, a six other spectators coming in. Yeah, yeah, we got six some spectators. Let them got join. Some people the in the game. peanut gallery. Apparently, our password isn't secure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you so can like, using the same one. Yeah, that's accident. what happens when you post the videos. What's the password? So Rachel's on the turn one play. Yep. Uh, two, three, two, split. I mean, a lab work so, start is something. Lab work starts yeah. fine. Dunk? Dunk? I don't know. Dunk like library. reverse time library access sounds so good, but he doesn't have anything to flip in. If this was pre erotic days, That's that would be pre- that would be pre- game. Erotic revert time. It's uh, <laughs> hello. So Rachel went with the mulligan. She gets into a nice four with a stig start. Oh, wild wormhole right off the top. And Dunkerro holds on to his. <clears throat> hmm. He's gonna do it yeah, anyways. He's gonna do it. Looking to yeah, draw pre-erotic a card day is that reverse time library access. That's uh, that's that's GG's typically. <laughs> so Dunkaro sitting with the key abduction battle fleets, and then four shadows, urchin bait and switch, pawn sacrifice, and a routine job. Rachel with a little two one three split. She's got the Sting Relentless Whispers and Dust Runner. She's got Psychic Network from Mars, Help from Future Self, and a Wild Wormhole. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm I'm trying. I'm looking at her next turn, and I'm trying to decide whether she goes Shadows or she goes Logos. I, Logos is real, real good. I would play Shadows. Shadows was decent. I think Logo sets up for a better next turn, though. Yeah, I'm, that's kind of um, what I'm thinking, because you're going to get that Dusk Runner Ember. Uh, you just don't have any Relentless Whisper targets. Yeah. The problem is is that the steal from Dusk Runner, is it getting her to check? No. No. 
it's not getting her a check, and it's Dunk Girl only has the one to steal. You don't have well, a great that's, target. That's, that's all you want, really. I well, mean, correct, that, but you don't have I'm a great. It. You don't have a great target for Relentless Whispers either. So right. I don't know. For me, and I'm nothing, going and nothing to steal. So yeah. Well, she likes logos, so there's that. Yeah, I was, I, I just I, I liked the the shadows Worm. play. She wormholes but... into the lab work too. I don't Psychic think work in the bag. I, yeah, it's a great I don't place think for that, it. Uh, I don't think that that that's a bad play. Oh, oh the leaf. Leaf. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's what she wants. Yep. That's what she. That's how it works. Well, that's about the end of that silliness, though. Still, Still a good hand. The though. quick so, yeah. That's a great hand. He's just going to steal it all right back. <laughs> Which, you know, weirdly enough works for Rachel because oh, she, she has the yeah. she's got the stuff to do a it. Really good poison wave right now, too. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, Dunk's hand is not. You can get lucky off that battle fleet, but otherwise, I, I don't think that's I don't a great know if hand. He plays it yet? I, I think he just goes back to logos, hoping for more. I agree. He's really hoping that game. He I doesn't mean, he's going to get to draw one. Yeah, he's hoping the archivist. I think doesn't die. I mean, little does he know it absolutely is. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Rachel's thinking about here. I don't know if that changes your play. Let's see. You're only drawing three off a of battle fleet. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a risky. That's a bold move, Cotton. Again, with the combo decks, there's it's not always going to be optimal. You're going to have yeah. to push. <laughs> I've definitely learned that through playing uh, Jenka in uh, Cody 5 here. <clears throat> Not always in the optimal spot to be able to push. Just waiting. I see the Dusk Runner on the Time Traveler. I'm just there, I'm not sure. If, no, there we got is the potential right now that she is thinking play the Stig, don't play the Relentless Whispers. <laughs> No. But that is no. no you, you, you got it. He takes them off key. I, 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 I can't wrap my head around the stick very well. I still couldn't play it. Because even though you go to check, you're not actually on check. Rachel's well, like, good with it, though. Yeah. and yeah. What, <laughs> She's thinking about it now. Yeah. I, what, I don't know here if you play it. Like, right now, do you play it? I don't know. What like you said, even though you're on check, you're not on check. And not only that, well, actually, is that is that big brain move playing this thing right now with IG sitting in hand, knowing Dunk's probably going to go logos? I mean, she has no clue, but like that's like almost big brain move right there, right? I don't, I don't know. know. I, I was, think so. I was a small fan of playing the sting and not taking him off key, but his deck's so fast. I, I don't know if you can play that kind of risky. I saw how she played the sting when she knew that she was going to be able to gain the amber um, in game two. So I don't see her playing it here, but there's a lot of thought process. And that also tells Dunk something that she's sitting on one card, um, you know, to play or not to play. Or sure. lag. Could just be lag. <laughs> there could be <laughs> lag, but... Could just be lag. Let's see how many. I mean, she's only played one, two, three, four shadows cards. Not an archive. Yeah. Holds the sting. Holds the sting. I, I think that's a hard cut decision. Either oh, you and play he's it or gonna you go. He's gonna go for this battle fleet and see if he can. And he whiffed. Something. Yeah. Whiffed pretty hard. Oh man. Well, but you got a pitcher. So now, it does Rachel come back? Play the sting. Basically, take the amber. And then Dunk's going to come back with IG afterwards. I think this is a little cat and mouse piece. Well, she, going back she's going to steal two first. 
Well, correct, with bait and switch, but I'm saying in that scenario, I, I do think that... Uh, so, was the IG and... isn't live right now. No. That is true. Uh, so, Dunk is... Dunk holds it. And both of them are way better at holding cards than I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Now, if she's got a really good Mars turn, right? That's going to come down. Yeah, that sucks. You sit on Mars to... But uh, oh, she's ready to pop that sting. She's like, no. Nope. Yeah, I just, you got to pop uh, that sting, right? Yeah, she got to pop that. That may be game altering because that IG is there. That IG is now live. That's why I was saying if you play it, I don't know if that I don't know if that forces him into anything else. Well, but can you sit on it much longer knowing that he's no? But I'm saying two turns cards? ago when she had the opportunity to play it to go to check because it's like you're coming back to that house, get the ember, go to check. Brutal. I don't know if I don't know if that's enough to force Dunk into logos or or make him go into logos. I think he maybe still tries for that that battle fleet. So the IG that IG just it actually just really hurts right now because that's a huge amber swing. And she's still got a decent turn. She gets to burn yeah. two amber plus make it cost one extra plus drain. Yeah, she has psychic moot network. Oh, but she's got psychic like, network too. Yeah, they have to be oh, ready. Oh yeah. But they oh, have if to they be survive, ready, so if they got to survive, and it's a turn delayed. Although I think you can steal one if you squonk her. I think I mean like she. Well, yeah, she's able to kill something. Might see a. Logo she's gonna purge. Here. She's, do you you purge the brain eater? I think you squonk her. The squonk her, bolter, re purge brain eater. No, I think it's no, the no, she's going oh, for the she got, I didn't see the disintegrator. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. That is a almost key cheatable hand. If she had she camera. but she can still do the steel. What does it do? It only steals two. It only steals two right now, so this is kind of it. Yeah. But you do have... On seven just, and capture, so he doesn't get a key this round. Yeah, let's say Jammer yeah. is still there, so that, but that is a very real thing. her key abduction is dead. Yep. She can't play it. She might just hold it for next turn and try to get it herself. Yeah. Could be. I mean, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five critters on board. Okay, can... All of the better brains here explain to me why she played Psychic Network with just the two. Because it's re that's a friendly ready, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, she, yeah it, but she might have been better to save it next turn. Well, but Maybe, then she doesn't take gotta, him off key this turn. And yeah, she wins I was going to say, she's got to take him off key this turn. <laughs> like, there is yeah, no next turn survive. if she doesn't play that. Okay. I mean, I don't think the key abduction is live here because she's two keys back. Yeah. Ah, bu -bu 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 -bu. maybe, but she's at is that five? Okay, I just said five. Never mind. Because I thought that red six. Yeah, so. because she can't afford to bounce her own. Ooh, group. the effervescent principle. Yeah, that's with a good logo hand to play with it. That is something. Yep. I would say if she could have gotten a six somehow, then then that that key abduction becomes real. It might be here, though. She can... The principal goes live. Can't play the Titan mechanic, though. Steel. Oh, boy. So he's Dunk got have the three yep. steel in hand. Yeah, she's got to play EP, right? There's no there's no other outs. I think so. It. And then he's got a pretty good logos turn to follow up with. Mm-hmm. He's got a pretty good logos turn and possibly a pretty wow, good shadows urchin. turn. I think that was a fantastic down. urchin. <laughs> she kill Smoko. He used both battle fleets, or just yeah, the one, just, just the, the one, one, huh? 
So we could wild wormhole into a bad battle fleet here. Mm hmm. A very bad battle fleet. But he can't wild wormhole into his own key abduction, so that's good. Okay, so he can get back to check this turn. Now check easy because of him. Oops, draws two. Knows what two cards are in his deck for this wild wormhole. Mm -hmm. And actually, he could archive one if he wanted to really know what's going to happen. Oh, wild wormholes <laughs> into that battle fleet. It's a 50-50 shot. I, 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 can't, I can't blame him for taking it. No. So. We all love spinning the wheel. I don't. She, she might be able to do this on Mars. Um, one, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, four, nine. I think she's too short because, and then yeah. the grabber jammer is real rough. But the grabber jammer will get bounced off of yeah, the. Yeah, grabber uh, jammer goes back to hand if she plays key abduction. Okay. She needs what? Four, 15? five, six. And then she'd have. She can't pull it off, can she? I think she's like an amber short. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. Titan mechanic. One, two. Titan mechanic. Yeah, the Titan mechanics on board. Did she go logos? No, that was already there. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can see the six. The eight cards in hand, four. so it'll be a seven cost key. Well, she'll. You got to play the biomatrix backup, I think, though. So yeah, he it, might. Damn it! It doesn't right. matter if biomatrix goes down or not. Makes no difference. Doesn't it? <laughs> Now it's one amber in hand or one amber on the board. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four on the reap, five with the key abduction, and then there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight and five is 13. That's one. Two short. And she needs 14, so it's one short, I think. Hmm. The blip blip. Yeah, do I'm anything trying right. to figure out how the blip blip does <laughs> something cool, but it, it doesn't. Yeah, I'll... no. Yeah, if That's she had a problem. Mars creature in hand, blip blip does it. Wins the game. Blip, yeah, blip blip wins, but there's there's no Mars creature. Wow. Yeah, one number card short. Yep, you won't. Wait, no, because it's minus one for the. Ti Did you take in Titan mechanic? Yep, that's why it's okay. fourteen instead of fifteen. That's why it's fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Bummer. And no zero way to steal. Yeah. So close. Yeah, that's a tight game. It's killing one killing the grabber jammer did it, killing the any one of those small little details. But that's I mean, yeah. That's just awesome oh, to see it be yeah. that close of a game. Yeah, she is she is too short. Grabber jammer nullifies. No, grabber jammer goes back to hand on key abduction. Oh, that's right. I keep why am I not thinking that? I don't think yeah, I was gonna say I count two, but you're you're completely right. <laughs> yeah. Play it all out, but Damn. That was super ah, close. What's left what's left in Rachel's deck? The six cards. I have no idea. I can't that could see that them, could have but... been one card away. One of the bolters. Uh um, yeah. yeah, one of the bolters is in there. Just a bolter. Um, there are eleven yeah, Mars it. cards visible. That's crazy to think of one of those shadows cards she drew is a bolter. That's the game changing. Yep. Now, now blip it actually does something cool. <laughs> yeah. Reap with blip blip. Play a ready bolter. 
Oh man, is that game two or three? This that is was, game that three, was, that was game three, two one. Yeah. By a hair. Yeah, that was super close. Wow. Very well played by both players. Yeah. And I think you got to see. I mean, I I know fraud can win in multiple ways because it does have the, it does have the suppressive, you know, steel in the shadow side, and it does have all the right things to make that battle fleet key abduction go off. So, so it can go deep, but typically when you take it that deep, it goes the other way. So I guess I've only ever seen fraud. The the games I've seen with fraud the the battle fleets have always just hit hot, and in this game, yeah. they really didn't. No, right? it's it's, it's, yeah, it's one of those things that's again we're we're talking we're talking combo decks, right? Like if it hits hot, it hit it's you know exactly what's going to happen. The game's done very quickly. If they miss, you know that's kind of a such as life type thing, right? And it's got to then it has to kind of rely on its logos and shadows to to kind of get it out of its mess. That's a total bummer. Like I, I feel bad for Rachel. Like <laughs> just being right. that one well, short, it's like, oh, that would have been a a cheer. I'm sure we would all cheered if she'd pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean, absolutely. But like, what being one short coming that that close to the end, like that's that's brutal. Yeah, I, it is. Yep, Dunks joined the call. How how did you feel about those draws? Like. Seemed like you were having a rough ride on some of them. Oh yeah, the second game was absolutely horrendous. Like yeah, we my saw. mistake, <laughs> I was greedy. I was greedy. I saw a hand that had battle fleet, and I decided, okay, I'm keeping this. And I got punished so hard with a hand that was two two two, then two two two, then two two two, and then two 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 again. And that was just horrendous. And I didn't get up from that until the end of the game. So if you don't see battle fleet there, you deep you you ditch and try. Oh yes, if I have a two 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 hand that doesn't have a battle fleet, I one hundred percent of the time. Yeah, that's like battle. the story of my life, dude. You know, I'll tell you what. There's there's plenty of times where I'll just see that hand and you're like, I just can't, I can't, I can't. And you know, in your head, your head's going, no, you can't keep this, but your gut's going. Oh, no, I'm yeah. sorry, flip that. Your gut's telling you you can't keep this, but your head goes. But look at the shinies. Yeah, and, but look, you know, there's a battle fleet. That's the best card in the deck, right? Look, look at the shinies. There's no way I can get rid of this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And in in that third game, I did this very weird play where I kept the interdimensional graft because this very long pause at the end of the shadow's turn was the tell I needed to tell. Okay, what what would she be thinking about? And the only thing that could be is whether to play this thing or not. So if she had it. I had to keep my international graph to counter it at, at like two or three turns later. So <laughs> that's that's the that's the tell I I got that for that. Yeah, that, we, that were, that we were we were commenting. Was it was she thinking or was it just like? Right. That's there was there was no way I, I went on there was no way that it could be leg at that point because I'm the person who thinks too much and it it gives the tell. And with that key piece. Um, the problem is by her playing the sting there, it means that she has to come back and she's not forging anyway at six. So that was a real lose-lose situation for her. Yes, I agree. There, was, there wasn't really any way to... Like, her, her hope was so that I don't have that interdimensional grab because every other scenario I probably had to winning. Which still was very close. Like even despite oh, me yeah. having that interdimensional graph, I, that was surprisingly close. One amber, one creature card difference. Yeah. Well, and with Blip it there, if, if if Rachel, if you had the other Bolter, <laughs> that was game. I mean, you had everything set up with Titan Mechanic on the side, um, so it was very, very by a hair. But but from from the other side, if I drew better from my battle fleets, yes. that would have, could have also turned over the game because my battle fleets draws were horrible. Oh, they were very true, good. yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, those were good games to watch, though. That was definitely I think yeah, the best yeah, round yeah. of three I've seen. Yeah, it was very close, and yeah, it was very very fun to play as well. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Especially after being so many months away and then coming back, and it was good to get into a good game. Yeah, you, you played at a very high level. Like, 
I didn't. I did not see any mistakes. I I'm a defensive player though. I, the the sting and the IG scares me. Yeah, there was so that time it did hesitate. It, it was a long hesitate, and it's like everything in the game. It's always that debate of is it worth keeping? And I was like, if I keep it, I hope to join the maybe some more some like shadow creatures. Um, if I don't join the shadow creatures, because I don't. The reason it took me so long to think, I thought this is probably the game changer. This keeping the sting or ditch. I thought if I ditch the sting. He knows I have nothing to kind of. Um, it, 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 if I ditch this thing, he can ditch his episodes in principle. Which is, in a way, he's nothing. Not uh, interventional graft. So if yeah. I, by not ditching this thing, it also may make him hold on to his graft, worrying that if I jump too much ahead of Amber. Um, but yeah, that's what took me so long. It was just a big debate saying this could be the make or break of the game if I do the wrong thing. Uh, what you should have done is typed into the chat. Sorry, lag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was that way he keeps dunking on his toes game. going, oh crap, was it really like <laughs> yeah. going through a tunnel right now? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in yeah. an elevator. Weird story. I'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah, it was because having nothing on the board and then playing it and thinking, I have to go back to shadows. If I draw, don't draw into any creatures or if I don't draw into anything. It's yeah, you had, to, you had to go yeah. shadow for three consecutive turns, which is yeah. never a good and uh, a good feeling. No, it was my hand wasn't great. I was like, if we keep it, what we're we gonna do next? And I was counting my cards, and like, there's 24 left. I played there's seven shadows in there, a third of the deck. Am I gonna join two of them? It, it was, um, it, it's always a, it's a hard card, it's not a great card. It's good if you use it, but that I was just told to do that graft, and especially in the second game, it's like, please don't have the graft. And when you bring his with me and stuff, I was like, shit, he's, he's delayed it another turn, don't have the graft. Um, it's but it was it, it was no, fun. I, I, it think, was, I uh, think that second game, that second game, you were afraid of graft. But I actually played the graft on the, my first turn with, v, yeah. v, with Wild Wormhole. Well, yeah, did, did even notice? So. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh god, and I, oh god, she has the sting, and I don't even was, have the graft that, in my deck. Was that the hesitation in game two on the sting? Was the graft? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, we were yeah, all sitting here, all three of us. <laughs> we're going. What's the holdup? Like, <laughs> play, either play it or don't. You know, fish or cut bait. Yeah, and cause, we had no clue that if, you were thinking about graft. Yeah, because I'm telling you, know, the only way back from my like when I played this thing there and he played his graft, my only comeback from it is principle. Um, knowing that if I don't join the rest of principle to get rid of the graft that he just gained. And but stuff, didn't but... you have the EP in hand at the time? Um, maybe that was game three. I might be thinking I'm, that might have been the third game. Uh, I did have this in principle. But um, I think I think it might have been game six. I can't fully really yeah, remember, but it, it, it was it was. I didn't think a lot. I thought when I thought he did get ahead. I got lucky with the, with the Mars. And I stored the um the psyche network, and he only he stunned my Mars, so I was able to, rather than kill them, so I was able to still steal four. I think that kept me in game three. Maybe it was game yeah. two. I think I kept me in game, game three. Two. If I just start. Yeah, this was game, game two. two. This was game two, um, and yeah. I I tried to dig for something to kill your guys, but stunning them was the best I could do, and that wasn't clearly not nearly good enough. Yeah, but it was um, oh, it, it was it was a good game. But the, the game when you had so many logos, like, and I couldn't have I've got nothing to get rid of all these big logos and you're archiving and. It was just yeah. Game, game one had like, exactly what fraud wants. Like play logos logos stuff first. Yeah, uh, okay. Archive away, uh, archive away Mars. Play some shadows to stun opponent in the meantime, and gain a lot of amber. And then suddenly you just play Mars to combo off for infinity. Yes, yeah, it was. I, I was happy when you played. When you played, I think it was Wormhole into uh, the, the one that reveals your hand. And I saw your hand. I was like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy because that allowed me to. Because my next turn, I was going to play down my shadows, but I had three shadow creatures that were all two power, and I was like, well, he's not going to go Mars. To get, he's not going to play one card. He's not going to go Logos. He's only got one card. He's going to have to play his Shadows. Yeah. And you had Relentless and Poison. So seeing that allowed me not to play my Shadows because you would have took out my whole board. So I was yeah. like, I'll just play it take a Time Traveler. So that helped me a little bit for my next turn. Yeah, Marsh is making bad allies. Some, sometimes they actually are bad allies and help my opponents more than, more, <laughs> yeah. more than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it helped me definitely. I was like, I'm definitely not choosing that. You'll wipe the board. He's got, you know, Two amber coming in, or two damage coming, in, everything. But it was really, I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna. So after the first game, I thought this is gonna be a total wipeout. In the second game, I was, uh, knowing how quick your deck is, and if you get all the cards, if you get that battle fleet combo off, that's it's, it's GG. Um, so, so I, I was, I did get my hopes up for the third game, and I was like, oh, what a game! Maybe I do have a chance. But 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, it's also it like people quite often overestimate fraud's ability to combo off. Fraud combos off like half of the games, not right. nearly every yeah. game. And that's what I was saying uh, earlier on. I don't think you were in here. Is that the deeper you take fraud, the the less likely like its chances each turn it has to go without comboing off hurts yeah. its ability hurts its ability to win. Yes. I yeah. Have, I still have to say, Rachel, that first game where you had the opening hand of six logos with the double time trial. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah that was absurd. We were yeah. all. Oh, it was amazing. It was great. Yeah. yeah I, I, I want. One that was crap because even, oh. yeah, okay, I think even the, and the one before we had a reset the match. I think there was, I think there was two. I think I, I was debating that I had three logarsons. I'm pretty happy with three logarsons, a couple of cards, and then yeah, obviously I had to reset the match six logarsons. Like this is this is amazing. It's, <laughs> but I, I think like, I think in, in all three games I managed to get. I think I played logars first in all three games possibly. So maybe it was the third one. I played logars second, but I think I got every time I played one time travel, the second one always seemed to come out with it. I got quite yes. lucky in, yeah, in, into the draws, which is a nice little four amber tone. Because um, I did think, I thought, well, the only way to hopefully get past his deck is going to be, I just need to rush for the amber before the combo comes off. I just need to put him under pressure, trying to constantly. Um, but it was really good. I, I was, it, it, was a, it was a really fun game. I was glad I played it. Good. Good to have you back. Yeah. It was for a lot. I did actually. Well, I actually played last night. I said I haven't played in November. My my gaming store just moved venue, so I did pop up last night for my first um, mass mutation game, which is which is quite interesting. Um, Learn all the new combos, but it's uh, it's a shame that there's no vaults or anything to see how good all the all the new stuff's going to be and, and what's happened during. Oh, so who could have been world champion stuff? But it's um, yeah, it's good that these games are still going on, which is interesting. See who wins? Is it did um did George win? Did George win his match? Is that spoilers? I don't know, guys. Uh, no, it's, <laughs> it's fine. <Yeah>. Oh, don't say. <laughs> uh, yes, I won my match. Oh, awesome. Cool. Thank you. That's all good to know. So what is that final eight then? This final eight? But, uh, final well, four? This was the eight, so we're getting down to the final four here, which uh, two of the games now are done. No, three of the games are done. Oh, awesome. And we get to see who wins. Yeah. Actually, no. I think this was the fourth game. We have all four done. We know the final four. Oh, cool. So. That would be interesting. Yeah, so. oh, that'd be good. It, it, was, it was a good idea. It, uh, it was a good idea to get get all the level eight decks in. But oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, again, <laughs> thank you both for playing. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much for the invite. It's good. And George, see you next time, I guess. Yep, we'll yeah. probably see you again, Dunk. Yeah. And All right, I'll see you. And hopefully, Rachel will see you around, honestly. We'd love to see you come back for Mass Mutations. Um, but regardless, we wish you the best of luck. Yeah, Absolutely. thank you very much. Thanks for the invite. I might be back one day. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what, we'll see what the next Vault 2 is or the next Warrior is, and I'll see what's happening. All right. <laughs> we'll see. But thank you very much for the invite. It was really fun. It was good to play, Dunk. Yeah, nice to play you too as well. Then see you or hear you around. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. And Bye. Yes, see you as well.